Hello everyone, this is Emerald Doctor, and today we're actually doing a Feed the Beast Contraption tutorial. It's the first one I'm going to be doing. I'll most likely do more, because I kind of found this out on my own. What you are looking at right here is a very cheap, very energy efficient, uh, fully automatic diamond making machine. Now, a couple things I'm going to point out about this machine is that it requires uh, three mods? Yes, three mods to uh, make it work. Well, four, actually. And it's uh, It should be in your Feed the Beast mod pack, all of them, except for one, which I will leave the, the link to. But the mods you will need are Industrial Craft, two, Build Craft, uh, Solar Arrays, I think that's what it's called. Here, let's go take a look. A Compact Solar Arrays mod, and you're going to need the automatic um, in the or dictionary converter mod so those are all the mods you need and yep, uh, pretty much that's all you need for this and uh, something to also to point out about this is that if you want to make it uh, even more self-reliant which you could do just like I did in my feed the beast uh, LP but if you didn't see it you could set up using the Ener energy manipulator mod which I'll also leave in the description you could set up a chicken farm and have chickens lay eggs and have them funnel into uh, energy manipula manipulators here. Nipper new. Alright, so basically how this works is that to make industrial diamonds, let's uh, actually go take a look at that. So let's type in industrial diamonds. Alright, industrial diamond. Now if you look at the recipe for it, it shows a compressor and cold chunk. Click on the cold chunk and it shows you the recipe for that. Compressed coal's ball and obsidian. Obsidian, you know where to get that. Compressed coal ball is a coal ball and a compressor. And coal ball and compressor goes down to coal dust around flint. And to get coal dust, you have to smelt either hydrated coal or macerate a coal, uh, piece of regular coal. So what this machine does, it basically breaks down into parts and it does it all that all for you, with the use of uh, about I'd say it's probably, energy-wise, 40 to 50 EU per tick, which is not too bad. You can be achieved by one singular medium voltage solar array, which we'll talk about in a second. But that powers all these machines, well, all three sets of machines, and there I have four to the ceiling, or wherever you want to have them to. You can make them as high as you want, low as you want. This, is, I think, is pretty efficient. Basically, what the, you go into here, you send power, into these and they'll perform their function but behind here I have a system like a basically a reserve or a buffer if you will of coal and that will feed into these three macerators and they will quickly turn it into coal dust because I have overclockers in here which again we'll get to later I'm going to be doing the tutorial on this basically like if you knew nothing about any of this kind of stuff and you don't know how to craft anything so and then it'll go into an auto workbench, which will turn into a coal ball around flint. And then I'll go into a compressor right here, which will take the coal ball it makes here and turn it into a compressed coal ball. And once those get enough in here, it'll go around obsidian and you'll get your coal chunk. Now it'll be funneled into a compressor, which will then go down filtered diamond pipes into an or automatic ore converter. That's what the mod you need this mod for. And it'll turn into regular diamonds. Now it does take, I think it's, it takes 64 coal and obsidian and one flint to make a diamond. My calculations are correct. So it's not that overpowered, that's to make an industrial diamond too. Now if you think it is too overpowered then you don't have to install this mod and you just have a bunch of industrial diamonds. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's take a look at the crafting recipes for all this. It's, this thing is very compact, it's only, what is this, four wide by five tall, excluding all this junk, got just extra. And it's, I was surprised at how cheap it really was to make this, and just uses wooden transport pipes, and yeah, let's uh, get on to the tutorial and how to make all these crazy contraptions. Alright guys, so I'm at this row of uh, eight diamond chests, contains all our recipes to build all this stuff if you have no clue of what I'm talking about, and you think I'm just a nutty person. And that sound in the background, it's not my computer or anything around my environment. Um, in the Feed the Beast mod, there's actually sounds that go with the machines like that 
what you're hearing right now is the macerator and the compressor and the engine. It's kind of cool. So anyway, also, random thing. I typed an Emerald Doctor down here just to clear out the NEI items. Just so that I would not have uh, the whole thing popping up and it caused a lot of lag when trying to record. And I found that there's a book with by my name. I don't I get that. I'm guessing it's opponent changed a config for this, and I don't know what this does. Or either that, or the people who made the mod Bibliocraft. I think that's how you say it. Know who I am, but I doubt that. So, anyway, let's uh, start off by showing you guys how to craft some items that you will definitely need to start making these things. First thing you do is craft a forge hammer, which is basically made by two sticks and iron like this around the sticks. And then we're going to hop over to this chest here. Let's take a look. We're going to need to make an industrial craft 2 wrench, which is basically made by bronze ingots in this fashion. You need to make a build craft wrench, which you put 8 cobblestone around a wood gear, which we'll show how to make in a second. It's 4 wood sticks like this. And then you get a stone gear, and you put that between 3 iron ingots, and you get a wrench for build craft. And then you need to make some cutters to cut uh, on the wires. Basically, you need uh, two iron ingots and three iron plates. To get iron plates, you take a forge hammer, which you looked at earlier, with an iron ingot, and you get one uh, iron plate. So now let's go on to actually how to make some of this stuff. Uh, to get some tin plates, you're going to take a tin ingot and a forge hammer. You get the uh, forge hammer back and just use your ability, and you'll get uh, eight tin plates. And you take your cutters with the tin plates, and you'll get 24 tin cable, three for every piece of tin plate. You go over here, and you to make insulated tin cable, you need to find a rubber tree. Uh, use a tree tap on it and get 24 sticky resin cook that in a furnace and you'll get 24 rubber plus your 24 tin cable will give you your 24 uh, insulated tin cable you need 12 hoppers how you make them like that and we talked about the forge hammer so now on over here you need to make 21 redstone engines which you make by uh, wood across the top like this 21 21 glass uh, 21 pistons and 42 wood gears like this 63 Bruce wood or whatever kind of planks you want and to make it wood gears you just take uh, sticks in this orientation and you need to make 42 so I 42 in each one and then you can use whatever kind of chests you want you have, these are pretty much all the types except for one or two or you can use uh, applied energistics whatever you want to do I'm going to be using diamond chests and next you need to do is make some diamond pipe so diamond glass diamond and you get eight diamond pipes do wood, glass, wood, and you get 24 because three of each because we need this many. You only need 21, but we need tw it makes 24. And then you do gla I mean, gold ingot, glass, gold ingot, and you get a uh, golden transport pipe. So now go over to here. We're just going to need to make an auto ore converter, which you need, which if you have the mod installed, you're going to need to make this or dictionary converter mod. It takes ironing, ironing, ironing it three cobblestone, redstone, and a ore converter, uh, like, I guess it's plate, we should call it. To make that, you need a crafting table, cobble, and an iron ingot. And then you need to make uh, eight auto workbenches, which you take the wood gears like we made earlier, and put them around eight uh, crafting table, it's crafting tables, plural, like that, and you get auto workbench. And then we need to make a coil. I just didn't have any space in the other chests, so this will be for a little bit later, but you take uh, copper ingot and turn them into plates and then cut them and make ins uh, uninsulated copper cable around an iron ingot and you get a coil which we're going to need to do that for solar array I believe so yeah 32 of these and then uh, that's about it for this so let's uh, move on I think this is where we left off uh, nope we should not make a coil so yes what you're going to need to do now is take a forge hammer and 32 iron ingots and craft them into iron plates Using this many ingots on a forge hammer will reduce the durability on it. You get the forge hammer back in the crafting table, but you might want to make a couple of these for this project. Next thing you're going to do is take four iron ingots and put them around in a circle like this in eight pattern. And you're going to get four basic machine casings. And you take your four basic machine ca casings and put them in the middle of a crafting table with four cobble on one side, four cobble on the other, and then 12 flint in this orientation. And then four electronic circuits to make an electronic circuit. Go over here with the copper cable, and you take the copper wire by using the copper ingot, hitting it with a forge hammer, cutting it with the cutter somehow, and then you get an uninsulated copper cable, and you put the rubber on it, and then you put your 24 of these on each side, four redstone, four redstone, and four more iron plates. 
and I'll give you four electronic circuits, and you get your four master radiators. So, still pretty cheap. I mean, you get there's copper all over the place in Feed the Beast. Next thing we're going on to is we're starting to get a little more expensive. Well, I'll talk about this in a second, but to make your uh, macerators here, we made the compressors earlier. Actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> these are supposed to be compressors, my mistake. To make our uh, compressors, we're going to need to put eight stone like this, eight stone like this on either side, eight more machine casings, and eight more electronic circuits. For some reason, that went away. Strange glitch. And to make a we need to make an MV transformer if we're going to be doing this, which I'm talking about right now. If you guys do not want to do the medium voltage tr transformer or you already have a different form uh, source of power, you can skip the next couple of minutes of this video when I talk about all this chunk. But uh, I think this is a pretty efficient way. It's not too expensive if you know what you're doing or you have enough stuff or you have an energy manipulator. <laughs> so let's get on with this. To make a medium voltage solar array it is a multitude of steps. What you need to do is get an MV transformer. That's easy. Just a basic machine casing with copper cable insulated, copper cable insulated, MV transformer. But now here comes the hard part. You need to make eight low voltage solar arrays first. And to do that, you need to make eight LV transformers and eight solar panels. The problem with that is that, again, more complicated recipes. These complicated recipes, we're going to go over to this chest right here. And to make uh, LV transformers, we can get those coils made earlier because we need to make eight of them. And then put eight uh, planks on the side like this, eight like this. Insulated tin cable on top, insulated tin cable on the bottom. And you'll get your low voltage transformers. Now here comes the kind of expensive part. What you need to do now is make an iron furnace. Crafted like this, iron plates around regular furnace. Everyone knows how to make a regular furnace. Except for you need to make... 64 of them. And now you'll need to go over to here, make three stacks of 64 of iron plates, a stack 64 RE batteries, which only come in a stack 16 at a time, and that'll give you a generator. To make an RE battery, you do tin item casings like this, with redstone in the middle and insulated tin on top. To get tin item casings, you use a four, four jammer on tin ingot on two tin ingots and you'll get four, you get one every two. So you get that and you make a stack of these and now you need to make two stacks of electronic circuits so eh, a little bit more expensive. Uh, three stacks of glass, that's easy. And three stacks of coal dust. Now you're probably scratching your head going, what the heck is coal dust? Coal dust is when you take coal, like I mentioned earlier, three stacks of it and put it into a macerator. So I suggest making your macerator first grinding up three stacks of coal dust and uh, putting it into here to make these. Now if you don't have any power then uh, you might want to borrow from a friend if you're on a server or go with a water mill or some other kind of easy power or just make a generator and put coal in it. A lot of coal involved in this project. And you get your 64 solar panels which then you'll go around here on the MV, LV transformer and you'll get your low voltage solar array eight of them and you put those eight around the MV transformer and you get your one medium voltage solar array which keeps up perfectly with this project and you can even add more things to it. Now over here I have my little equation here a stack of diamonds or stack of coal plus eight flint will give you a stack of obs I mean and plus one obsidian will give you one industrial diamond. That's the kind of thing I try to remember and if you do guys do have the energy manipulator, which again I will leave in the description, this is how you craft it. Diamond, diamond, emerald, obsidian, obsidian, glowstone, cauldron, redstone, redstone. Expensive, but way, way worth it. We talked about our tools, so let's uh, get on to tutorial. Right, first thing we're starting off by doing is we're going to put up our four macerators. So one, two, three, four. Go one block over. Auto workbenches. One, two, three, four. Four. Go over, get your four compressors. Ah, too high. One, two, three, four. Four more auto workbenches. One, two, three, four. And then four more compressors. One, two, three, four. You're going to skip a block here. Skip one more. And then put your ore converter like 
that. And there's your basic setup. And now what you can, we're going to do is we're going to add uh, pipes. So we're going to move all these out of here. We don't need that anymore. Put down our pipes. We're just going to put wood here. We'll change the orientation in a second. Now I'll explain pipes. Pipes are a cool build for craft thing, and uh, I really like them. Now diamond. And actually, that was a fail. Wood, 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 wood. This, need, this needs to move one over. My mistake, guys. There we go. Diamond, 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 diamond. Gold, wood, like that. So you get this kind of setup. Now you can go by take your build craft wrench. Has to be the build craft one. The other one won't work, as you can see. Right click on these so that the thick or dark part is facing to the left on all these. So that means it's going to pull out of these and put into these. That's how pipes work. That part in the back it pulls out and goes in on the light part. So let's change all these over. Just to make it more compact. There we go. These are all okay. Now let's add some chests here and hoppers. Let's grab our hoppers. Put a chest on top of this pipe. Ooh. Well, you guys can put it forward. You can put this just an input. That's where all your diamonds are going to go. And now, as you turn here, on this macerator here, you're going to put one hopper and it's going to face into all these going down. So facing into here, here, and here. And you're going to put a diamond chest on top or whatever kind of chest system you want to use. I'm in creative, so diamond chests work. Same thing right here. Hopper, hopper, and hopper like that. Diamond chest on top. And then skip the compressor. You don't need to put hoppers on that. And you put hoppers here and on these, like just like last time, and diamond chest on top of that. Next thing you're going to probably be wise to do while this works for you is you're going to want to fill up this chest as much as you can with coal. Lots and lots of coal. And you can either get that by mining, energy manipulator, whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter. This one you're going to want to fill up uh, pretty much an eighth as much with flint, but flint's really cheap. So you can fill them up all with flint and be good. And this you can fill up with probably three stacks of obsidian because each one obsidian will equal one diamond it's kind of exponential 64 to 8 to 1 so it's like 8 to the 1 power is 1 8 to the second power is 64 and 8 to the no, actually I'm sorry 8 to the none power is 1 and then 8 to the 1 power is 8 and 8 to the second is 64 so that's how that works getting too math for you guys maybe all right so next thing we're going to go and do is we're going to put our our uh, redstone engines on along with their consecutive levers. This is also where you're going to put in your industrial craft uh, wrench. So, engine, engine, engine. Now, all these engines need to be facing into each of their wooden pipes, respectively. So, we just right click on the redstone engine with the wrench, and you hear it make a cool sound. Do that for all of them. This if you can't fly, if you can fly, then you should be able to work it out where you can just face them in. And then your last f couple here. I call this the diamond wave because when you first put, turn on all these engines at one time. Also, my apologies, need um, four more redstone engines than what I said to make. I miscounted. So there you go. Actually, no, I was right. Five times. Yeah, never mind. So 20 and then 1. 21. Because this one needs to go there. Because these need to pull out of here. and Yeah. Alright, so lever on the back of each one of these. Because you must power redstone engines with some kind of redstone to make them work. Hence the name. I just put levers on the back. I think that's the easiest way to go. Anyway, I was, like I was saying earlier, I call this the diamond wave because when you turn all these on, all these redstone engines will pulse at a separate rate until you log out and log back in. As you guys can see here. 
That's an example. They'll start to move and they'll go back. We'll, we'll be able to see it later, but there we go. Now let's add our cable and our power. So cable and our medium voltage solar array. Put it one block away. I mean, that's the most compact you're going to be able to get. Shift click on these wires onto here. Tin cable works fine. You can use gold if you want, copper, whatever. It doesn't really matter for this. Go around here. Connect, connect. It's getting nighttime, so let's change that. That's connected to the side. Go over here and connect these by shifting onto them. And go across. Go over to your last set of compressors. And you are done with cable. So that was nice and easy. And that's uh, pretty much it for this whole thing. It's very compact, very easy. So now we have a couple things left, left to do, and they all have to do with items. So let's uh, take care of that. One thing to point out as well is that before you fill up all these chests here, like I'm doing, with, uh, with well, the first one with coal for the macerator, it's good idea not to connect your power so it doesn't start macerating before you're ready. There we go. All filled up. Now, while that's cycling through the hoppers, it'll go into here and into these. Which shouldn't, they shouldn't, they should lose all their power. Well, actually, we can just, yeah, don't connect the power to them before they're ready to go. So let's uh, move on to then fill this up with this one up with flint. Something also to also to point out while the items are filtering through the hoppers, there's only one major diff disadvantage of this uh, design that I can really see, and is that it requires you to have uh, all the necessary components to make uh, industrial diamond. For like you need to do the process one one time per like amount of these that you have amount of rows or columns. So if, let's say it's four high and you have uh, enough to make four industrial diamonds first because what you need to do is go into auto crafting table here and then put in the recipe you want. Like the first one is coal dust around a piece of flint and you don't click to craft. Do not do that. Keep it like this and then when there's enough to go around here including the flint when it gets filled up by the uh, hoppers it'll like when it gets fed in enough to go around one more time it'll craft one but it'll always have one left over. And then the same thing for this one, you have to put in eight coal balls around one obsidian and keep it like this. So for each one of these, you need to do that. And that's, uh, I think, the only one disadvantage of this design. But it's uh, <laughs> you get lots of diamonds, and it's really easy after this. You just basically connect the cable, pull all the levers, and you just sit here and watch. And what else? What else? Yes, you need one industrial diamond and one regular diamond also. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Here's why you need them. If you do not connect, use diamond pipes here, to my knowledge, these will sometimes the diamonds will go out and then slip back into here. Try to go in here, but they can't, and then get shot out, and you will lose your diamond. So diamond transport pipes, for those of you who do not know, are basically filters. See the colors like blue, black, and white. You can click on the pipe. And then you can put in the item that you need in the filter color you want. I want all my items to go down, so I'm going to put, the, put uh, the industrial diamond in the black filter. It does not actually take the item away from you. It just puts in a representation. But you cannot grab it out, so you know it doesn't take it from you. Just a representation of it, which is good. So go down to the second pipe, put it in black as well. Go down to the third pipe, put it in black go down to the fourth pipe and we're gonna put it in red we put it in red because we want the um, diamonds come down 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 and then to the right so that's what they're gonna do now and in right here the automatic ore converter you have this GUI pulled up for targets you put in a diamond and it does that representation thing again and there you go this is pretty much an automatic it's really extremely quick when you put an industrial diamond in which we'll see once we get this thing going. So once you have, once all these are filled up with 64 in each one, and all your hoppers are all filled up, you can start the system. So I'll get back to you guys when that is ready to go. All right, my system is ready to go here. All the hoppers are filled up. Now, one quick thing to point out before we turn all this on, 
is if you do want to add overclockers, which makes these machines run extremely quick. This power, this one energy cell, will, we can perfectly do it. But as a warning, to make it run extremely fast like mine over there, you need four for each one of these. So four times four, 16 right here, 32, and wait for it, 48. That's a lot of overclockers. And if you look at the recipe for them, oh, I'm in cheat mode, but let's go to recipe mode real quick. Inventory, recipe mode. Look at the, look at that. Copper, electronic circuit, copper. I don't even know what these are. And look at what they're crafted using. Tin plates around a water capsule or water bucket. So actually it's not too bad, I suppose, but yeah, it takes a lot of time to make these. At first I clicked on the wrong recipe, like for <laughs> Arbitorium or something, and it was like, I don't know what these are. <laughs> I guess they're not too hard to make, but if you guys do want to make them, go ahead. But they do takes a bit extra power, I think, to use them. You see, increases power 160 percent, decreases process time to 70 percent, which is not too bad. But either way, let's uh, finally fire this thing up. So let's grab some tin cable. I got my tin cable. So let's uh, go around back here and fire on all these engines so they're ready to go. Just click on the levers. Click, click, to click, click. And also the order you do them in will give you a different wave effect until you log in. It looks pretty neat, especially once they get going full speed. They do take a while to warm up, so don't worry if they're not moving very fast at first because they get going really quick. Let's wait for them to warm up a little bit. Watch how they move. It's pretty fun. They kind of blend in well with the pipes. So you don't see them as much because looking at the pipes, I think, is really neat. Look, watching the items flow. They start to turn different colors and they start to heat up. So, yeah, let's uh, connect this up. Here we go. Here the machines start working. They're turning on. They're smoking up the top. Speed here, we can actually take a look at it. Start seeing stuff going through. Like it's compressing and macerating coal. Not as fast as the other one, of course, because of all the clockers. See it going through. Goes into the uh, auto workbench here. Look at the top. You can see it just one away. I want to sit here and wait for it. Once we see it go through, I'll show you what happens. It's almost done. You hear the mass radio is working. Pulling it through, pulling it through. There it is. Now, as we watch here, one coal dust will go right here. The whole thing's filled, and it will automatically start to craft it. No overclocker is available for this thing, which I just works. These are a bit slow, which slows down the system, so it's not the most efficient. And bam, it shoots one out. You can follow it you know, through here. Goes into the compressor. I'll wait a minute for that. Compressing, compressing, compressing. See, with overclockers, it does help make it go faster, but again, they're kind of expensive. Just a warning. Okay, and coal ball. So travel along the pipe. I love watching how you the pipes. Goes into here, and it appears right there. And once these fill up, they go into here, which I'll show when that happens. Good stone engines, you're doing the wave. Guys, right, the last one going through. So I should be able to get ourselves a coal ball. It's grabbing here, it's gonna go over to here. Should be the last one right here. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll take back my statement from earlier. Overclockers are a good investment. This took a long time to do, unless you're planning on going AFK for days and using a chunk loader, which you can make like this. Gold, ender pearl, and giant table, which you can make like that. It would be very inefficient to do it this way without overclockers. Overclockers make it a lot faster. This took, it didn't take very long, maybe five or ten minutes. I'm probably exaggerating because it felt like a lot longer because I was sitting here waiting. Here's our last compressed coal ball going into our table here, making our cold chunk. Make sure we'll be able to see if our tubes at the end work. Our diamond tubes, pipes, whatever you want to call them. There it goes. Going through the pipe. And get compressed here. There it is. You'll be able to see uh, how fast this thing works too, which is ridiculously quick. Yeah, the mass radar's going. And it's about to pop out. Yep, there it goes. Industrial diamond. Now let's watch it go down the uh, diamond pipes. 
filter down. Filter down. Filter down. Golden pipes make things go faster, just FYI. Through the red, it's gonna go and instantly turn into regular diamond. And bam, regular diamond. Just buy 64 coal, one piece of flint, and oh wait, eight pieces of flint and one uh, obsidian. And we got three more coming through in a second here. One, two. Hold on a second. Here they go. And here comes the last one. And we're done. So yeah, that was the way to make automatic diamonds, pretty much. We automatically make diamonds. Overclockers are useful. Chunk loaders, too. So yeah, it's my first Feed the Beast tutorial. Guys, let me know how I did. Um, and yeah, check out my Feed the Beast tutorials and my other redstone contraptions. Uh, yeah, thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you the next time.